You know, about the only thing that many of us know about uninsured motorist insurance is that most of us carry it, and some of us have had to use it before, but it requires a little more thought than that. Zach England is joining us now from the firm of Warren and Griffin to talk about uninsured motorists. Zach, welcome to the show. Thanks so much for having me. In a nutshell, what is the uninsured motorist? We pay a little bit for that when we write the check for the premiums. Not a whole lot, but it does provide some pretty good coverage. Sure. Usually. Uninsured motorist is a, a type of protection that you have on your insurance, and it's there for when somebody hits you and they don't have adequate insurance coverage or any insurance coverage at all. It's usually kind of your last line of defense. Right. And a lot of times, your most important line of defense. And it's not really a particularly pricey element when it comes to your coverage, is it? Correct. It's, it's really pennies uh, in, in cost compared to what the value is in the protection. Give us an example of how we would have to use that insurance. Sure. Thankfully, Tennessee law has become a little more stricter on uh, insurance requirements and that kind of thing. Still, though, in this state, there's probably one in five drivers who are still uninsured. Mm -hmm. So uh, if someone uh, causes a collision, does harm to you or your car, uh, and they don't have insurance, it, you're, you're really uh, forced to uh, either take that person to court right. as, a, as a true last resort, uh, but more importantly, you have to rely on your own insurance to help. To, to come to kind of clean up the mess. You said one in five doesn't have insurance. Correct, at least. That's a pretty uh, alarming statistic. Tennessee is, is one of the leading states in that area and it's something we need to change. But yeah, we hear about people all the time who are driving without insurance. You can look at any of the arrest reports and uninsured motorists, they have that, it, it's right there on the arrest record. It's Why do you there. think something that's so cheap people won't buy? I think sometimes uh, it's an honest mistake. You've let your policy lapse. You haven't paid your premium, uh, or you know times are tough and you need to sure. pay that cell phone bill instead of the insurance, and it just kind of gets put on the back burner. What are the ramifications if you are one of those people who don't have insurance? You get into a into a uh, actionable wreck that is your fault. What happens from that point sure. forward? You're really at the mercy of the police officer. They have the right to tow your vehicle. Uh, they can't arrest you on the scene. They can impose fines, and it can be a, a, a pretty uh, expensive endeavor to try to get that your license back if that can be revoked. Um, it, it can be a pretty pricey. Let's continue that scenario. Driver A hits driver B. Driver A does not have any sort of insurance coverage, and they do $5,000 worth of damage to the vehicle. How long can they be on the hook for to pay off that amount? It can be for a long time, and, and the beauty of it is with the uninsured motorist, it not only protects you, but then they can go after that other person on their own time and their own dime. So you don't have to worry about having to take that person to court or, or chasing people down, asking for money. That's part of the protection you pay for. So it is something that we should all double-check the policies and make sure we have. Double-check the policies. Are most companies good at letting you add that on if for some reason it's been overlooked to begin with? Absolutely, and I, I encourage people to have a local agent or somebody you can meet with, talk to face-to-face. -to -face. Don't just get insurance over the Internet and, right. and expect somebody to follow up with you. Have a personal relationship with your agent. Yeah, when it comes to insurance, as you well know, miracles just don't happen. It always pays to... Um, Cross the T's and dot the I's. Absolutely. Zach England, thanks so much for Thank joining so us. Much. We appreciate it. You can get in touch with Zach and find out more about this at Warren and Griffin. Call them at 265 Hurt. That's 265 Hurt. And the website is warrenandgriffin.com. Again, warrenandgriffin.com. If you have some extra time that you could stand to volunteer a few hours for, stick around. We're going to tell you how you can do just that when we come back.